Pardon? I said I was here first. I was uh, here first. I think I was. Excuse me? Well, I said I think I was here first. I really think I was. I was here first. Well, I put my sleeping down bag down first. What? Well, I heard you putting your chair down, but by then my sleeping bag was already down, so... That's crazy. You can't hear grass. Well, chairs are louder than sleeping bags. A pin's louder than a feather, but you don't hear it if it's dropped in grass. <laughs> well, I put my sleeping down bag down first. I already had my tent set up. I said down first. That's what matters. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What are you even doing here? Why don't you go follow some teen idol sensation and leave this to people who really care? I care. You care. I care. What could you possibly know? He was born January 8, 1935, and his twin brother Jesse was still born and buried the next day. He went to Lawler Elementary School and he got his first guitar on his 11th birthday. It was $12.75 and his mom bought it for him at the Tolupo Hardware Store. And he recorded his first record on July 5th at Sun Studio and his whole life changed when his mom died. What'd she die of? Heart attack complicated by hepatitis. What was the first song he ever recorded? My Happiness in 1953. What was his father's name? Vernon. When was his father born? April 4th, 1916. I was still here first. Who wrote Heartbreak Hotel? Point Anderson and Clark. Who was his favorite actress to work with? Shelley Farks. When did he do his first screen test? April 15th, 1956. And he read from some play called The Rainmaker. What was his favorite type of cigarette? Lucky Strike. Elvis didn't smoke. Of course Elvis didn't smoke. I knew that. It was just all that stuff you said earlier threw me off. It's early. I don't think good early. I was here first. Who do you think you are? I was the first person to go to Mediation Garden in Graveside when it opened, and I was the first person into the museum when it opened, and I was the first person to touch the statue when they unveiled it. And you can bet that in three days when they open the most sacred place of all, his home, <laughs> that I'm gonna be the first person to set foot in there. But I have to be first. What do you mean you have to be first? Well, I have to get to him. Get to him? Are you crazy? He's dead. Well, I know that, but I'm gonna bring him back. You know, if you love somebody enough, you can do that. I was watching this movie where Gene Kelly loved this girl so much, he brought a whole village back. <laughs> what are you talking about? If I could just get in there for five minutes alone and talk First to- First of all, you're not gonna get in there alone. They have, they have bodyguards on the laundry shelves, for Christ's sake. And second of all, I was here first. <laughs> but if you're first, don't they give you some sort of prize? I could ask for my prize to be five minutes alone in there. My cousin was the first person at the new Kmart in her town, and they gave her a whole bunch of cool stuff. Does this look like a Kmart to you? I have to be first. I have dedicated my whole life to this man, to preserving his memory, to making sure that everyone knows there's only one true singer, Elvis. I've loved him with the truest, deepest love since I was 15 years old, and if you think that I'm gonna give that up for some kid, I've got one thing to say to you, no. No way. But if I'm not first, it won't work. What won't work? What are you talking about? Are you talking about magic? Oh my god, she's one of those crazy cold people. I'm getting the guards. No, I don't know nothing about that. I'm so getting you thrown off these grounds. Fine, go ahead. Go get the guards. But you've got nothing to prove, and they'll probably just throw us both off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.